Everyone is saying OpenAI's Agent Builder kills NADN and even Zapier. I personally have been very underwhelmed by it. However, I just found this hack that instantly connects your agents to 30,000 plus automations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the exact same thing. And to be honest, this takes OpenAI Agent Builder from being basically useless to pretty powerful in minutes. So let's get into it. All right guys, so this is the new OpenAI Agent Builder user interface. You can see it's a pretty basic drag and drop interface to actually create our AI agents. Every Everybody's saying this is game changing. I'm not here to say it's game changing. However, I am going to say that this hack that I found in this video will actually make the agents that you're building inside of Agent Builder useful. So let me quickly break down how this works. We could literally just drag over, like for example, a file search here, or we could drag over an agent node. As you can see, I already have one up called Flight Booking Agent. Let me go ahead and actually create an agent now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag an agent node directly onto our canvas here. I'm just gonna name this Flight agent and we're gonna use this to actually help us book different flights but it's not just gonna search the internet and find different flights for us what it's gonna do is it's gonna look at my google calendar and actually identify which slots i have to actually book a flight that doesn't interfere with my calendar and usually if we're gonna do this we'd have to create all these back and forth steps inside of opening eye agent builder but this hack i'm going to show you makes us really easy to interact with all the different apps that you use without having to configure each of these different nodes which i could just tell you right Right now will be a pain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to our agent tab here and I'm just going to write out some instructions. So let's just say you are my travel agent. You have access to my Google calendar. Your job is to check my calendar and make sure the flights you find for me fit my busy schedule. So you're probably asking Brock, how are we actually gonna connect this to our Google Calendar? Instead of having to go and like configure a node directly inside of Agent Builder, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take advantage of this feature right here called MCP. If you don't know what MCP is, it's basically a protocol that allows you to connect your AI agents to a whole bunch of different applications. And in this case, this will instantly connect to 30,000 different automations and 8,000 different apps that we actually use in order for our agent to go off in like perform these tasks for us. So it's gonna understand what our instructions are right here. And then basically it's gonna be like, okay, I need to go and search for flights. It's gonna go and search for flights, but then it's actually gonna check my Google Calendar via this tool, which think of an MCP server as just a tool and like basically part of your tool belt. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right this second. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna click on tools. And you can see right here, we have this thing called MCP server. And what we could do is we could go ahead and configure each of these individually if we wanted to. But as you can see, we need an access token here just for our Gmail connector. I'm going to show you a hack that makes it much easier to connect to all of your different apps. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down to right here where it says Zapier. If you don't know what it is, this is a platform that allows you to connect to 8,000 different apps using this MCP server. All we need to do is get our Zapier API key, which I'm going to click on get API key. I'm going to come over to connect here and I'm going to copy my secret and I'm basically going to paste it in here. And before I do that, I'm going to show you one thing. Basically how we set up this MCP server to actually act on our behalf and perform different tasks for us is what we're going to do is we come over to configure and we're going to click on add tool and we select any of the different apps we want to have access to and we don't need to configure each of these individually think of this server as the ability to tap into all of these different apps here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and let's just say i want to connect this to um let's go to gmail i'm going to click on gmail and i'm going to add all gmail tools and literally all of these tools it's now going to have in its tool belt so what it's able to do is it's able to create labels Labels, find emails, add labels to emails, delete emails, send emails, all these different things that it now has access to. What I could do is I could come over to the tools and let's just add a couple more. Let's say I wanted to have access to my Slack channel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just literally gonna simply connect my Slack in like one button here. And then I'm gonna do this for any of the tools that I wanna connect with. Let's go ahead and obviously connect this to our Google Calendar since we're gonna be using that in this video. I'm just gonna simply add our Google Calendar tools here. And there are so many different apps that you could actually connect this with inside of Zapier. So now that we've actually configured these different tools inside of this server, literally I just need to take that API key, literally bring it back over to OpenAI Agent Builder. And now you can see it has access to all of these different tools here that it could now access. And these are different tasks it could perform. So what I could do now is since it's connected to Zapier right here, I could just come over, click on preview, and now I could begin testing out our agent.
agent. And again, this is a very, very simple agent. I just wanted to show you the capabilities of adding this feature to actually connect our app. So I'm just gonna come over and say, can you check my Google Calendar and tell me the events I have for next week? And I really quickly wanna mention, this isn't anything game changing, but what this does is this makes it so we don't have to go and actually configure each of these different tools. Instead, we just do it all in one go with Zapier. So as you can see, I'm gonna approve this here. It's now gonna go ahead and search through my Google Calendar. So there we go, it actually pulled up my calendar here and I'm gonna take it one step further and actually show you how we could add a widget here. So instead of it just like giving us this text, it's actually gonna show like a cool interactive widget for us to play around with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on close preview. I'm gonna change the output format to actually show widget. And let me just click on this create widget button. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come over here and just say, build me a widget for my Google Calendar to show my events. And we could basically just vibe code this widget here and I'm gonna quickly show you exactly what I mean. All right, so here we go. We could see our Google Calendar widget. It's nothing crazy, but this is a pretty cool user interface. So what I could do is I could just click on this download button and bear with me, you don't need to know anything about coding to be able to do this. Then I'm gonna come back and just click on upload and then I'm gonna find this file on my computer and then just simply click upload. So there we have it. We now have the widget available and let me come back and just ask the same question. What events do I have on my calendar for this week? One thing I do wanna mention right now and be transparent is I don't think this is a platform that kills and it in in your automation platforms that you're using. I don't know if you should even focus on using this. However, I do wanna mention, if you are trying to test out the Agent Builder platform and you wanna make actually useful agents, I really do think this Zapier MCP hack will help you out. This does not mean that I'm building all these different agents. Using this now, I still am gonna stick with things like Zapier and some of these other automation platforms I use, but this is a way to go from very beginner to actually kind of like entry level and you know actually having agents that are able to perform different tasks for you. All right, so here we go. You can see that I actually checked my calendar and it now pulled up this widget here. You could see I have a meeting with Sam Altman. Of course, this is actual truthful. So jokes aside though, this actually looks pretty cool. And yeah, so now basically our agent has access to all these different apps and tools inside of Zapier. Again, I only configured like these couple of them here. We could just go ahead and add any of these different apps that we actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. And believe me, there are so many here. So if you guys are trying out the new OpenAI Agent Builder, I highly suggest you guys try this out to actually make your agents a little bit more useful because again, I don't think the platform is anything game changing, but this will make them just a little bit more impactful. With that being said, thanks for staying to the end of this video. Let me know if this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.